Once upon a time, there was once a blind girl who lived in a faraway village in the east. Her name was Aku. Aku lived at the outskirts of the village with her elder sister Udo and her mother Unzube. Aku was born blind and learned how to cater for herself as her mother Unzube and sister Udo didn't care much about her. They both loved to live their lives and saw Aku as a liability because of her blindness. Aku learned how to cook and clean because their mother and sister never bothered to give her food or clean the house. In her blind state, Aku would visit the local market, buy food items and cook at home. And when her mother and sister would return from gallivanting around the village, they would finish all the food Aku had prepared without considering if she had eaten or not. The welfare of Aku was the least of their worries, even when they knew she was blind and needed assistance. To make money, Aku started braiding hairs in the village, and most days she would braid up to four to five hairs, and the money they paid her, Aku would keep it in her safe box. She was saving towards her eye treatment, as she heard of a powerful medicine man in a faraway village, who had the ability of restoring her sight, but the treatment was expensive. Aku was so overjoyed and looked forward to the day she would see for the very first time. The joy made her work extra hard to save more money as she did not mind the stress she went through. Most nights, she would be so tired as her back ached from sitting for hours braiding hair. However, she never gave up and kept going. One day, Aku's sister Udo came across all the money Aku had saved. So, she took the money and went to buy new shoes, bags, and clothes for herself. Aku did not know the money was no longer in her box until a few days later. She opened the box to add more money from the day's work and noticed it was empty. Aku screamed in frustration and immediately called on her sister Udo to ask if she had seen her money. Udo hissed and walked away. What is your problem, Jerry? Why are you disturbing me? Said Udo. Immediately, Aku remembered the new shoes and clothes she heard Udo jubilating about. And immediately, she knew that her sister had taken her money to purchase those items. This broke Aku's heart. And she broke down crying. All her hard work flushed down the drain. And her dreams of ever seeing shattered by her own sister. What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment? By my own flesh and blood, said Aku, as tears kept rolling down her eyes. Aku was heartbroken, but she never gave up. She kept on working hard and started saving all over again. One day, when she went to the stream to fetch some water, Aku did not know that her sister Udo secretly followed her to the stream. As she was about fetching the water, her sister pushed her into the stream. Aku struggled and struggled and struggled, but she couldn't swim and found herself sinking down to the bottom of the stream. Her sister returned home like nothing happened, took all of Aku's savings and pretended not to know where Aku was. Days passed and no one cared to know where Aku was either, not even their mother, Unzube. Her mother had concluded that Aku would have left home of her own free will and did not care to look for her. Only Udo knew what happened to Aku and she never told anyone. Many years passed and Udo was struck with an unusual illness. Her mother, Unzube, rushed her to many places, but no one could treat this illness. Then, someone told them of a great healer in another village. The healer was said to have been able to handle many difficult cases. So Unzube took her daughter on a journey to meet this great healer. When they arrived, they saw a hut in the distance. Many people gathered around the hut, waiting to be treated. So they waited in the corner for their turn. When it was now their turn, Unzube and Udo went in to meet the healer. And to their surprise, they saw Aku. Aku did not recognize them at first, but when they spoke, she immediately recognized their voice. Aku, is this you? 
You can now see. What happened to you? Asked her mother and Zube in shock. Udo, on hearing this and citing Aku, began to cry as she never knew Aku survived her push. Aku began to narrate what happened to her, to her mother, and she said, That fateful day, I went to fetch water from the stream, and when I was about pulling out the water from the stream, Udo pushed me into the water, and I began to sink as I could not swim. A short while later, I found myself alive in a strange place. A man had saved me, and he took me to his hut. He saved my life, and I never knew he was the great medicine man who could heal people's blindness. Before Udo pushed me into the stream, she stole some money from me, which I was saving towards meeting this same medicine man to restore my sight. Udo shattered that dream as she stole the money to buy shoes and bags. I forgave her and started saving all over again. But I think this time, greed took a better part of her as she tried to kill me. The medicine man, when he noticed I was blind, healed me for free and I begged him to let me stay and learn how to heal people. I walked under him for many years and he taught me all I know today. On hearing this, Unzube and Udo began to cry. They cried their eyes out and begged Aku for forgiveness. Aku, being so kind-hearted, forgave them and healed Udo without collecting a dime from them. Udo and Unzube returned back to their village and they turned a new leaf. They became changed people because they regretted all they had done to Aku and promised never to be such heartless and wicked people. The lesson to be learned from this story is that we should always look out for each other. Do not hurt people and never take what doesn't belong to you. Always treat people the way you would like to be treated. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.